So there's the um, console glued up. Now just some points. I pre-painted the top box, uh, the lower section still has to get painted. You see all the clamps because I've added um, 3 8 plywood down all the way to the uh, base. Uh, you can't see it because of the clamp, but at any rate, and my uh, these. And the framing comes all the way up from the base. That's so the console's really good and stiff. So there's framing on the front and framing on the back down the sides. And that'll tie, tie the whole thing together really well. So it's uh, missing yet the mahogany and the yoke. I'm, I'm, because I made use of the pillows, uh, sorry, the cushions that I had, I'm a little bit tight uh, for the steering yoke, but um, I'll make it work, even if it means I have to drill out the back of the ply and drill into a little bit of the back of the cushion, which will only be like half an inch. So I just have to remove the plywood potentially uh, to, to get access to the back of the yoke so that I can run cable. And um, yeah, so it's solvable. Um, I'll probably draw the, uh, the con console a little bit uh, deeper uh, so that that's not an issue uh, in the future. At any rate, on the plans, yeah, so that's going to be solid as an anything. I kind of like the, the battleship grayish uh, interior look, and that'll be offset by nice red mahogany highlights in the framing and just in the end panel and then this will happen and that will happen and that will happen let's how about we just wait till we get there um there you go today's progress is uh the windshield and um of the center console and uh, I did work on my steering system. It's kind of jury rigged together. I use brass uh, plumbing fittings and everything else to stiffen up the metal. Uh, sorry, uh, to s stiffen up the wood. There's an aluminum ring there to again keep the wood from because uh, I had one of those old old style uh, drums from um, the cable style, and um, so I had to jury rig. Though I didn't have the bearing or anything, so. I've jury rigged that. It spins a little, got a little wobble, so I'll work that out. It's not in there permanently yet. Uh, so yeah, I got spinning, so that's great. Uh, sides are, it's just uh, screwed in so that it can come out. I debate whether I'll actually end up um, fully um, gluing that part in so I can always take it out, I suppose. I may cut myself an access um, hole from this backside. That would get rid of that ugly chunk of ply there too so there's a good idea <laughs> um, people think oh that's a much nicer piece of ply than it is so I made my own windshield brackets and I had a piece of Lexan and uh, these screws um, are stainless uh, that came off of um, off of a piece of furniture actually and uh, um, it was stored outside for quite some time and never never rusted so and those bolts are stainless as well but they all get painted out black so i actually cut this these brackets out of one of these it's, it's i believe it was i collect interesting hunks of metal just because it comes in handy sometimes so i did have to bend it this was actually like this uh, and i had to bend it to suit my angle uh, but cutting it in half, you know, was a bit of a chore, but if you're careful, you can do it. And then drilling it out and on and on and on. Uh, yeah, so it's a mess, but I just clamped the chair temporarily in place here. But it gives you an idea. There's a good uh, 12, 14 inches uh, space, so it's easy to step in. I've got the floorboard. I oiled it again. Easy to step in. Sitting back, the windshield blocks your, blocks your wind. Let me, oh, I don't want that right now. So sitting back, it blocks your wind. But if you just tip up a bit, you're going to see the bow of the boat, lean forward, whatever, so you can see down in the water, stand up, and the windscreen's completely out of the way. I ri rode motorcycle for most of my life. And um, frankly, I never liked my windscreen to be up over my eyes. I like to be able to just... 
it deflects wind enough when you're going along to just see over top of it. Um, and then with the motorcycle, I put my helmet screen down uh, again, just above my eyes. And um, even in the rain, I wouldn't get any, any water in my eyes. I did wear uh, riding glasses too. But anyway, bottom line is this will get all painted out. There's some mahogany touches. This will be stained out in mahogany as well and the sides and I have yet to um, I made a little mistake here I came up short I was going to do something different uh, so I'll make a little fit piece in there I'll do that actually shortly um, but in the plans they'll be full height and honestly a console can be made to suit your wishes so um, there's some some uh, personal touches and depending on the hardware you have uh, you may want a larger console I built this one rather narrow uh, because I had these cushions and I didn't want them to go right on to the onto the deck so I had these cushions so I worked with what I had so there's there's lots of customization that no doubt will happen here but making use of what I had I think it came out pretty good. It's much stronger because these pieces come all the way down into the um, two main full length frames and tie in. And plus, um, I added a 3 8 piece of ply here to continue the look as well. And that all is glued and laminated and um, will make it ridiculously strong. Yeah, I'm really pleased with uh, the look here. Let's get out of the light and I can take a picture. Woohoo! I got to get all the way out. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Quick look from the back side. You can see the little uh, footrest uh, inside there. And uh, my my little error, which I will take take uh, take uh, measures to fix and these little pieces still have to be trimmed up a little bit but that's basically um, a filler piece to uh, sandwich it back in again yeah I'm I'm quite pleased it's a little snug here but it's not an issue because you have your spokes all over the place that you can grab so hmm let's see Nice.